I wanted to share here with you how we can use the Apple Pencil to take a screenshot of a web page and get the whole web page into OneNote. So let's have a look at how we do this. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our settings are correct on our iPad. So once you're in settings, go to Apple Pencil, select Apple Pencil, and then down there where it says Pencil Gestures, when it says left corner swipe, make sure that screenshot is visible. You've got two options there. If you click on that, you can see it says screenshot with the chip, the tick or the check or off. So make sure that the screenshot is checked and then you go back and you can see that you've got that activation available for us. Next, we're going to go and find a website that we uh, are interested in. In this case, topical at the moment is the G20 uh, meeting in Glasgow and the headline there, they've pledged to climate action, etc. So as an educator, I might decide that I want to use this particular website for some uh, issues in lessons and I want my clerk, my students to explore this and discuss this and perhaps critique, uh, etc. So how can I get the whole of this web page into OneNote? So I get my pencil and what I'm doing on my iPad now, from the bottom left corner, I'm swiping the pen into the middle of the iPad screen. So let's have a look at what happens when I do that. So I'm swiping in and you can see there it says here screen or full page. Now at the moment, this is just a screenshot. So this is just an image and all that you've got is what you can see in front of you. However, if I check and select full page, now you can see on the right hand side down here that I've got the whole of the web page has been selected, which is absolutely amazing. We can do all sorts of things with this, as I'll explain in a moment. So how now do we get this into OneNote? So we're going to go to our export up here. So tap on that and then we're going to choose where we want to send it. In this case, we're going to go to OneNote and I've got my PE Tutor OneNote that I've chosen. You can select which one you want to. You can also select where you want it to go in your OneNote. So this is going to hand out, so I'll give it a quick title, BBC News G20 Glasgow. Once I've done that, I'm going to send it. And now it's sent, so I will go out of the web page and I will go into OneNote. And once that's opened up, you can see there that the BBC News G20 page has been attached in handouts and there it is as an attachment so that's quite interesting we've still got one more thing to do before we can access this fully so we're going to press and hold on that and you will see the options we have one is print out so let's tap on print out and shortly the whole page the web page is printed for us i'm tapping on the right hand corner up here just to make this canvas a little bit a uh, bit bigger i'm pinching in and you can see now that the whole of that web page has been printed onto my OneNote canvas. Now this is so useful and there are so many potential uh, opportunities or ideas that we could use with our students. So if we are in politics, economics, perhaps you can use this as a discussion point, same with business. If we're linguists, we could use this as a translation activity. Perhaps we can talk about this in our PSHE and how climate is um, obviously affecting all of us and some of the points in this article can be used as stimulus. If we are English as foreign language students or teachers, we could use this as a stimulus as well. There are so many ways in which we can do this, use this to make it a worthwhile learning activity. One of the things that you might be interested in doing as well is if we just press and hold on the article and then we select select set picture as background and then tap out of that. Now we can manipulate that in terms of size and we can also annotate on that. So I've select draw there. If I pick up the highlighter pen there, I can then identify keywords or key concepts that might be of interest or significant depending on the activity. So that is how we can put a whole web page into OneNote using the Apple Pencil function on the iPad. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. See you next time.